Hello everyone, magandang araw or oh, good morning to everybody. Uh, I want to say uh, something about s- some people who subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And la- also like and share about my video. Thank you also. Uh, this video I'd like to show you. This is a generator control. It is a newly sized type of a generator control from the original power wizard I will make it uh, a small type of control uh, DCP okay let's see this video and then keep on watching please like and subscribe my channel and thanks again for all the subscriber from the original uh, power wizard we will replace an FG Wilson small type of control okay. this is the original diagram of the power wizard version 1.0 ok this control it is a uh, very expensive so when, if you buy a new one you have to pay also the installation of software because if you have not paid the installation, it is become useless. Okay. So this control is damaged. Uh, now, what to do? We will replace other other This control. This is a plug and play control. This installation installation you have to find it out because at the back of this control they are not already the numbering and identification of both pin and terminal of the connection okay now in this video I will show you how the wiring will install based on the original diagram see this is our uh, uh, diagram of the new control a small control but we can uh, use uh, like a universal for everyone if you know and understand how to install it okay. now here is my uh, companion to do this uh, installation he is a Pakistani and then this is the original one Filipino but in this installation uh, I'll show you how it becomes. Okay. When you do installation, you have to carry it out with the diagram for easy uh, tapping of the wire. Cut from the original to tap to the new one. This is the old one diagram, and this is the new one diagram. Okay, the new one diagram we can find it out at the box ah no they don't have box this is i found it uh, online internet based on the model of the control okay but this generator is a uh, 50 kva olympian caterpillar okay uh, we don't have any choice so we should have to do something because we need the generator so the only we have the stack of control is this model and then some uh, deep sea but this is the uh, easy so you see how much big the hole we need to do some uh, extra plate to cover up the hole and make the the same hole of the small control okay this is the wiring and the wiring number okay okay the battery supply this is the battery supply line negative so we use yeah okay. we use from the emergency switch okay this is the emergency switch controlled by ground so when you tap push the emergency switch the ground will cut off okay so we use that here this is the ground and then the positive this is a number seven wire from the original this original wiring and then this is the fuel line 
okay the fuel line i think uh, you have to you need to do something the relay okay wait, wait, wait. the relay this relay the original installation the uh, the wiring is the one wire is the direct from positive line okay and then the ground is controlled by the starting control so uh, what i do i change the position of the wire because this control is uh, controlling the positive line unlike the other one before the old control is controlling the negative line so what to do is yeah we change only the polarity from positive we change to the negative wire going to the see this wire this came from here that was from the old control is controlled by negative okay now we put the negative directly joined together with the other relay this is the fuel and this is the starting relay fuel relay and the starting relay okay so we join together the negative and then we make separate uh, we cut the original line directed uh, to the positive we use the line before was controlled negative okay we use it as a positive line from the control okay see this is the fuel okay and then this is the other one where is rumble because we uh, do some uh, new installation okay fuel number number three and then the other one is number four okay fuel and track this is starter control and then uh, to the sensor it's already marked at the wire 5 volts so you have to only connect there at the 5 volt connection this is the 5 volt and then the other one it is up to you if you want to configure to use this contact they have a relay inside so you can put the positive supply you can use one by one anything you want to use depend on you to configure it and then make it sure that the oil sensing must be connected and also the colon this don't forget because if you not installed correctly you cannot start it they only counting the number and also after testing if you want to testing you can start without the connection of this but the starter they will, they will not be stopped running unless you stop the control you have to install once that you test you want to you want to testing for a long uh, minute you want to install you have to install the electric supply from the generator the city i think no problem it is okay no need to worry about it so this is only additional for monitoring but make it sure that the ac supply must be installed to the monitor to make it sure you can testing it for a long run Okay, that's all everyone again please help us to subscribe <laughs> I just wanted to if you think that this video is very uh, useful and uh, understandable please help me to subscribe my channel Caterpillar Jornang okay hope you like this video and keep, keep on watching if you want to install the same control this is it and uh, very uh, very nice for uh, everyone to be, they, they want to do some other manipulation or uh, type of uh, other control to install send us a comment if you want to uh, ask anything about this type of control or any type of control of the generator I'm happy to help you okay thanks keep on watching okay now we're going to start I'm going to start now because everything is already installed. Now we will start. You see again, show the wiring because the first time we started uh, without installation of the supply from the generator AC supply, so the starter is not stopped running, but the engine is running.
Parasol This is a big hole. Don't get the original control before. <laughs> this is a good type of control. Universal type. You can install also this control in a 24 volts because this is a 12-24 supply. Good okay. watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. I would like to give uh, additional information how to edit the parameter. Okay, in this video, you cannot edit it unless the engine is running on start. Okay, now, based on the, the rest inside of this video, the line shows only two phase. Okay, I will make this. I will make this. Uh, screen being uh, become a three phase okay just don't press this button okay don't press don't press okay now you have to go to type scroll it on this side okay this is the scroll scroll right and left okay now we're going to find the type L type okay now this is the number two we'll change it to three now you cannot change unless you have got the password the password is a double two one three okay here one two okay one two okay one okay one two three okay now we can edit or adjust now I adjust for 3 and then this is the OK button. OK and then long press to return normal. To normal. Now we we'll check. Now it is the base. Okay. I also include in this video how I do that. Uh, how do I know that the parameter it is adjust. So, in this video, this is the parameter code. Okay. The parameter code. Okay. This is the parameter code. You can copy this by phones uh, and screen copy. How to do this? Okay, by the, by the process I have done, just only follow that and then you can select one by one. to make it so all the connections will be in, uh, in place normally ok thanks again ok now I'm going to scroll there is a line, uh, neutral to line there is a single line there is, this is the 3 phase fireball phase L3, L1 and then L2, L3 properly arranged so we will arrange after this 